into the middle. Blanco, who's popped up all over the attacking half of this formation. Anywhere to get the ball and create something. And he'll flip that one forward over the top. He's going to first touch in front. Tries to flick over. Pots and he does. Yaroslav Nizgoda has put Portland on the board. A 61st minute strike on a beautiful overlap over the top ball from Sebastian Blanco. And the Timbers are back in this game perhaps. Back in the game and I think that was a well-timed run. They'll certainly take a quick look at it. But FC Dallas now has just paid the price for having completely lost control of the match. So right now, a young team has got to figure out how to reestablish control and to keep the tempo down a little bit because right now the game is at. This would be the way for the Timbers to get back into this game, down a man and down two goals. Just look in awe. What's a strike. You, John, you built it up and we wasn't disappointed. Give me some more angles because every time I see it, it gets better and better and better. Now it's game on. Mascara. Super rich. Mascara. Two of them, I couldn't turn on it. Columbus just wanted to get rid of it, but failed. And Moreno has a chance. It's happened again. Columbus have collapsed in stoppage time. It's a reviving point for the Timbers. Truly remarkable, but this will be whether or not Morea was fouled in that instance. The whistle, the whistle was not blown, but how about that finish from Santiago Moreno? A half chance from about 20 yards out. And Eloy Room picking the ball out of the back of his net in the 95th minute. For more points dropped from a winning position that has left that man as questioned as possible in Giovanni Savarese. They had it for Jimmy Chala. Paredes. Paredes again inside the area on his left foot. And what comes off the defender? Yeah, well, the kick is in! Two weeks in a row, we've seen absolutely superb strikes from Portland. Grappo with no chance. Oh my god. This is even better than last week because it's ricocheted. They keep the ball alive, they keep pumping it around. It fizzes up and he just, again, tries his luck. What great agility, what great awareness. It bounces up. When your luck's in, you take it. And he takes it early and it just loops it, agonizing over the goalkeeper. Just watch it, here's a better angle. Perfect. <laughs> Look at the smile, that says it all. it off for Van Rankin, working on Jones, Van Rankin's crossed, he is good, couldn't get to it, how about the overhead for a tying goal by Jimmy Chara! I mean, he has so much time and space, I didn't even know if he needs to go for the spectacular overhead kick, but why not? I mean, going away from goal, readjust his body, this is phenomenal. I mean, Jimmy Chara, take a bow. Look at that. He just watches it the whole way. It bounces up. There's nobody within five yards of him. I mean, Farrell's out of the play. He could have brought that down. That's what a normal player would do, right? No, thank you. Jimmy Chara with the Chilena, the bicycle kick on day one of the season. Phenomenal. And Portlander level 2-2.